Hello. In this video we have this PS5 controller that's been here before. And had a stick change with the whole effect ones. But this one, I mean look at it, is really sticked when this one moves. I mean look. Mm. <laughs> I mean, you can move it, but you can feel it's like stuck. Like really stuck. So we need to get down and see what happened to this one. I'm not even bothering to test it because I can feel it. This is, has to be changed anyway. So let's open it up. So whatever it was, it was mechanical. So I guess I'll be changing this one and see how it goes. Because now mechanically it feels good. So it was stuck somehow. This is very strange. Either way, let's get it off. And we'll think about it later. <laughs>
Okay, it feels good now. So let's solder this one up and see how it goes. I still really didn't get it. Let's use less flux. Maybe we used too much flux this time and got a bit sticky inside. And over time, it got even stickier, maybe. So let's not overdo it with flux this time. All right, we're all hooked up, and this is how it looks without no hardware calibration whatsoever. So let's get the hat off, press it a bit, move it a bit. Okay, even this one should go a bit lower. But this one is close enough to do software calibration on it. So I'll let it be. It's very, very close. But this one, before I do software, I want to do hardware also. So let's stick some stuff in it. Alright, this is very close. On this side, yeah, let's try that. You want to be more? Oops, that was too much. Ah, uh -huh. that's looking good. Lucky? Yeah, I guess lucky. Well, I'll say this one is good for software calibration, no? So, one way to do it, you can take the whole board out, stick the battery in, it's not going to work without the battery. Stick the battery in, stick the USB, and you can do, but I would say not to do the calibration of the sticks while this one is open up like that. It might not come out nice. So, I would kind of avoid that. You can try, but I would avoid it. But to do 
the hardware calibration on this one so you can have access to stick something in them yeah i mean you stick there and there and on the other side the same you have more access all right so let's try to put it back and see how it goes okay i put it back together as much as i can to calibrate it so i didn't put screws not the top face on because i just want to see if we can start calibrating it so let's let's see how we are first and then calibrate So we end up quite well on the left and the right is not bad calibration is a bit off on that corner there it reaches now well, this looks more off So the left one looks quite centered, quite really well centered. Let's see the right one, tiny bit, but well, let's let's do the software calibration now. Okay. So the centering or not bad. This one looks better on the uh, X. And now Y on the left it's a bit I know much. So it's almost center. This is center pretty much. Let's check circularity before. We do anything to it. So it's kind of on a spooky side. Error rate is not huge. Uh, it's not quite even. We'll see what we can get out of it. And I don't like this part here. Right. Let's see. I'll leave this one the center like that so stick range. Let's see what a disaster we have. We still go a lot down there. Well, it's pretty much similar to what we got in the first place.
Okay, so after probably 40 minutes of fine tune calibration thing, this is what I could get out of it. This one is very nice. So the right stick is 4.8. Pretty much you're not going to get better than this. Now on this one, I've done the top side, but this is pretty much hardware. I mean, from the stick itself and from the sensors. Probably if you zero it when they are in another position, it might be better, but this is 10%. For the moment, this one stays like this. I'll, uh, I'll make sure they will have a way to test them. I mean, they'll test them. And if they don't like how it feels like in a game, I'll get it back and I'll uh, try to do the hardware calibration in a different position. And pretty much I'll look at the sensors themselves and see if they are middle. I mean, the magnet to be in the middle straight on. And after that, I'll zero it from the calibration here. I mean, the center, I'll zero it from here. So it's more equal from side to side. I don't know if you, if you understand what I mean. Inside, so probably it can be fixed from the position of the magnet. But for the moment, for this one, this is good enough. And the centering is quite good. So, I'll save the calibration on this one and that's it. Alright, so we fixed this one. I wish the left one would have been better, but we'll see. If he's not happy with the way he feels, he'll come back and I'll, I'll try to sort it out from the magnets to see if that works. Alright, so that's for this one. It's all done.